Well, good morning, folks. It is Friday, and you know what that means. Welcome along to the next installment, episode number six of our F1 22 manager career mode with Team Alpine, Fernando Alonso, and Esteban Ocon. And it is time for the Miami Grand Prix from the Miami International Autodrome at the Hard Rock Cafe Stadium. If you did miss the last one, it was certainly an interesting fight. Let's uh, let's put it like that. Uh, but Ferrari lead the way now from Red Bull, Mercedes, Alpine, P4, P5 for Alfa Romeo, the McLaren, Alfa Tauri, Haas, Williams and Aston Martin bring up the rear. For the Drivers' Championship, Charles Leclerc leads by one point ahead of Carlos Sainz and Max Verstappen, Sergio Perez, Lewis Hamilton, George Russell, Valtteri Bottas, Esteban Ocon in P8, Fernando P9 and Daniel Ricciardo in P10. Five, are we five races down or four races down? Four races down. Although I'm a bit disappointed that we didn't get the sprint race for um, the Emilia Romagna because we should have had sprint races. Uh, personally, unless that may be a reg change, maybe that uh, comes up as a reg change. Who, uh, who knows? But let's hope for another decent result today. We'll go uh, get them practice off screen. We'll get them come back for qualify and see you in Q1. And yeah, let's go uh, have a good race in Miami. Uh, all right then, time for Q1. Practice went all right. Um, not ideal, but uh, you know it is what it is. We uh, we take it and uh, we move on. But uh, hopefully, it'll be a, a different a different kettle of fish in qualifying. That's what uh, I'd like to uh, hope. <laughs> hope so. So we'll send uh, send Alonso out first, and then as soon as he clears the white line, we'll send out Esteban Ocon. Oh no, that is uh, Ocon. No, that is Alonso. Is it Alonso? Yeah, no, that is Alonso. Ocon's already out. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, no traffic for our run, so that's uh, brilliant. Sainz is well out of the way. Uh, tires are getting a little warm. That's uh, concerning, to say the least. But uh, we'll see where uh, that... Uh, Alonso said the tires are getting warm now, and... Uh, uh, 130.9, knock on two and a half tenths off him. And then here comes the ultimate tryhard, Carlos Sainz. And let me guess, here comes Ocon still, uh, Alonso and Ocon still holding down P2 and P3. Although not many, uh, people have gone yet. This strategy, though, that, uh, I'm thinking of here, it did work in, uh, thingy. did work in um, uh, Imola, where we stayed in at the rest of uh, Q1. It, it all depends who's in the drop zone. Uh, Stroll, Albon, Schumacher, Norris and Latifi. So the only guys that can really improve, if we're being honest, are probably Norris. So I'm going to stay in again. And uh, hopefully... Vettel's got a penalty. Don't know what for. Yep, checkered flag. Okay, nice nice job. job today. Uh, Alonso slips to P8. Ocon to P10. Bottas has uh, come out of nowhere. P9 now for Alonso. But uh, that's fine. Esteban just holds on. And we mean just. So, we're through to Q2. Charles Leclerc fastest in the uh, first session ahead of the Stappen and Sainz. Let's see you uh, for Q2. Uh, all right, time to take Q2. I think it's okay. Should be uh, should be interesting this session. We didn't. Uh, what were we P9 and P13 at the end of Q1. So yeah, but I reckon keeping hold of this uh, second set of uh, soft tyres from Q1, it's going to help us in the long run. I honestly do. I, I think it uh, will. I think it will. I know it will. We'll uh, we'll see what uh, what happens. We shall see what happens. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get uh, a better result. Ocon's the the one I'm worried about though. 
I, I will admit I am worried about Esteban Ocon. We'll see what Alonso does. We've had a crash on the track. Who's crashed? Uh, it looks like it's going to be Guan Yu Xiao. Now let's watch this. And the he's Alfa going Romeo to lose one. it into the barriers. Yes. Oh, ho, ho. that's a hefty whack. A hefty, hefty whack for uh, Guan Yu. Never mind. Said nobody ever. So is that Guan Yu out of this session then? I, I would hope it's Guan Yu out. Right. Uh, Ocon P7, Alonso P9. So we're going to have to go again. We are going to have to go again, lads. Uh, sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, we're not, uh, we're not quick enough. <laughs> Interestingly said. Alonso in the drop zone, he's going to need to produce uh, the lap of his life now. As he's off gone, so someone's coming out. One of the Mercedes. Oh, God, we're going to run out into traffic. That's not good. 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 It's not, not, not good. That's, uh, that's for sure. All right, come on then, Alonso. Norris has a penalty. Hopefully, he can get a toe down these uh, long straights. We'll see what uh, happens. Tires are getting overheated. Don't panic. Don't panic. Guo Zhou is out. So Guan Yu Zhou is definitely eliminated from this session. See what uh, Ocon is saying. Tyre severely overheating. Come on, Ocon. Ocon to the line. And... Imp oh, Alonso improves to P8. Ocon to P10, but he has a penalty. And it's only Magnussen that can really screw him over. Where is Kevin Magnussen? Kevin Magnussen crosses the line now and does only improve slightly, so... Oof. Ocon by the skin of his teeth. And and mind you, that it is by the skin of his teeth. Leclerc once again. Ugh. Just, let's say that. Radio so, check. Q3. And, and I would say Ocon's fortunate to be here by the Radio skin of his teeth. Okay. I would say Esteban Ocon is very, very, very fortunate to be in uh, Q3. And I think you'd uh, probably all agree uh, too, as well. I, I would, uh, I would certainly hope you all agree. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We accept that. But it is what it is, and we will make the best of a good situation hopefully we can make the best of a good situation he says he says thinking about it long and uh, long yeah, and sure. hard <laughs> okay hmm i think that was a crash here's the replay so what we got here we got uh, is that for Stappen? Oh, into the wall. They've lost control. That was a hard clunk on the right rear, and here comes the Mercedes doing the exact the same thing. Devastated. They'll be questioning just what happened out and there. And that's in qualifying, so we they may be an open goal about to be uh, put through here. I think that was uh, Sergio. Yeah, it was Sergio. And uh, Russell went and uh, crashed into him. Right, let's put uh, these new s super sticky... Super sticky, lovely tyres. That's what uh, we love to see. Ocon P6, Alonso P5. 
but uh, I've got a feeling there's three cars there that uh, are going to improve massively. If we can get ahead, I tell you what, if we can be ahead of Perez, I will gladly take that. I will gl absolutely gladly take that. That would be... That would be mint. For me, anyway. We'll, we'll see where this uh, this goes though. So they started their fast laps. Where are they? Alonso's there. Ocon's there. Alonso goes. Uh, well, we're on board with Ocon. Alonso improves, but doesn't improve by much. Ocon up to P, down to P8. Will he get up to P? Well, now P9 because uh, there goes Perez. Carlos Sainz has uh, not set a lap yet. We need to uh, keep an eye on Sainz. It may be P8 and P8, P8 and P10. Sainz goes P2. That's fine though. P8 and uh, P10. We'll take that. Considering that uh, Ocon could have been out in uh, Q2. We will definitely take that. So we've got room to improve on, uh, on Sunday. But I think this, this could be the one. I think we can... Oh, Perez has got a penalty. Be interested to see where he starts on the grid. Continues to shine. It seems like nothing can dampen the mood of excitement here at the track. Looking at Fernando Alonso here. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. And here's the second Alpine. A top 10 position today, but will they be able to capitalize on it? Everything's been building to this. One of the newest races in F1, and hopefully one of the most exciting too. It's the Miami Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. And it is indeed away we go from P8 to P10 on the grid into the first corner. It looks like Ocon's... Nope, Ocon might be about to gain a position on the Gasly. Yes, he is. Well done, Ocon. Ocon actually doing Ocon stuff for once in his life. It'd be nice if I could get rid of him, but unfortunately, like I said, he's got a long contract, so I don't uh, want to really get rid of him if I can. Although, bring it in... Uh, Piastri for a few races might uh, might help out. I know. I remember uh, on F1 Manager the game that uh, Arrow played. Not this version, an older version. Drivers could get injuries, so you'd have to sub in. I hope uh, that's a mechanic. That that would be awesome if uh, that was a mechanic on uh, the game. That would be uh, absolutely fantastic. Go to this little fiddly stadium section. Fiddly stadium sections. Who were? Uh, who doesn't uh, like that? No, everyone uh, doesn't like fiddly stadium sections. Exactly. Yeah, I, I, that's uh, what I thought there. But let's uh, let's get on with it. Down uh, the big back straight here. If we stay in the DRS train, we might be able to push them. Might. Hmm. Sorry, <coughs> it's my uh, fourth video, uh, fourth race recording today. So um, remember to stay hydrated and fluidate that throat. There you are. There's today's word of the day: fluidate. All right, lap seven. No more ERS. We've got Copy no up. ERS on uh, Ocon's car, so we'll go neutral. But they can still push because they are still in the. Uh, trade of uh, one now. Sergio Perez. Okay. It looks like Ocon's so taking Bottas here. You go catch it. Oh, he's caught him with his pants down. Good move. Good move there. Somehow, also, Ocon's overtaken and Alonso. Moving up a position. Where's that uh, come maneuvering. from? That came uh, out of nowhere. That Interesting one. Oh, that guy, uh, it was the either uh, getting really very excited delighted. or it looked like he was about to take a big, giant dump. Let's hope it wasn't a dump, because, uh, oh, Ocon fastest car out on the track at 34.8. That's, that's good to see. 
that's good to see that Ocon's uh, willing to take uh, responsibility here. I think he uh, needs it. He's had a good couple of races, to be fair. Start pushing. He, he really, uh, okay, really okay. has had a, a good couple of uh, races. Let's uh, let's move forward a little bit. See if ever happens. Ocon overtakes let's George Russell. Now have a I tell you what. Looks like Ocon. George is concentrating on that uh, Red Bull, but oh, hello, round the outside. See you later. <laughs> and I think o Alonso and they just it. overtook they Bottas. And a race so that's uh, for the double overtake, which is uh, even I better. Think it's safe to say that went down well even better, team. even sweeter. Can't say uh, better than that, can we? Or could we? All right, lap 13, Ocon and Perez are trading P4. Looks like Here's uh, Pere Ocon making the move around the outside of Perez in turn one. That is sweet. I, I don't know what Ocon woke up with this morning, but he has woke up absolutely on fire. Where has this Ocon been? Can somebody please tell me where this Ocon's been? Because, uh... He is really showing up Alonso here. Alonso's struggling down in P9 to even get past Bottas. It's P5, uh, Ocon overtakes Perez. Yeah, that, that's fine. We, we saw that. Hamilton now sets uh, the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Looks like uh, Ocon's now dropped behind Perez. Alonso, I think, has Alonso got ahead of... Uh, no, Bottas has got ahead of Russell. So let's look at this. And here comes uh, the pass with Perez. And around the outside into the stadium section. Indeed, well, he didn't even need the stadium section. They take advantage. Fair of play to that man. Through. Excellent work. For uh, for that pass. The team are really disappointed. It's, it's okay, that. lads. Let's hope it's it okay. Set them back too badly. That's uh, that's absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. Okay, lap 22, we're, we're with Alonso here. Alonso is struggling to even get past Bottas and Russell here. Although Bottas and Russell are having a good fight uh, up ahead. I wouldn't mind seeing that on board uh, Frankie's car there, but uh, I'm at the will of the uh, F1 gods, unfortunately. Uh, so we've got the pin, pit window is activated. Brilliant. Ocon's still P5. He's overtaken Perez now. Here's so that's uh, so that we can okay. uh, check so in on. Oh, around the outside, turn one into turn two, turn three. Hang him out to dry, turn three, get the overspeed on. And Goodness beautifully me. done into go. turn four ahead of the other and turn five. That is beautiful, Esteban. The team watching on and clearly they, loving they, that. They are absolutely over the moon for that one. Esteban is, uh, doing, uh, is doing good today. Although I've got a feeling he's about to be overtaken, we've got a problem with the powertrain on Alonso's car. Uh, right. Frankie, we are going to do an undercut. We are going to try and get ahead of these two. Okay, uh, Although, if you get ahead of uh, Bottas, who I don't think has DRS, yes. that would uh, that would make the job a little easier. Go on then. Oh, unlucky. So unlucky. So, oh, he's going to hang him out. All right, good, good try. Good try there, Frankie. But uh, we'll try the undercut here. Right, here comes uh, Alonso for his pit. Copy. Into the pit let into the lane comes Alonso. Perez overtakes Ocon. Understood. Uh, that's fine. We'll uh, we'll let him have that one. Ocon's now dropped back to about far six, seven tenths. So he can stay there. That'd be awesome. So Alonso into the lane. Hard tyres on, and off he goes. Off he goes. Let's see where this brings him out. If he can come in out in front of this Magnuson shot. Oh, that's not good. Oh, he's come out actually ahead of Magnuson, so that's good. He's got a little bit of clean air to work with with these guys. If he makes the same moves he made in uh, Imola, that should be good enough. To be fair, I think his mediums were wearing out quite considerably. So, all right, Frankie, head down, push now. Let's go uh, get after him. Meanwhile, Ocon, what are you saying? You're just uh, staring at the back of a Red Bull in P6. I'd take a P6. 
If they offered me a, a P6 right about now, I would now. take it. Copy. I really would. Although, I wanted to stay in the DR... Oh, he's not in the DRS. Ah, he lost quite a uh, bit of gl grip there, did he? Right, I think it's time for Ocon to come in, yeah. Let's get Ocon into the lane. Russell and Bottas continue on. Sainz has continued on as well, as has Verstappen. So, let's get these hard tyres on. Beautiful. That was a beautiful stop right there. Beautiful stop. 2.7. Somebody's having an argument outside. To the who? And Ocon to P10. Alonso is only three seconds behind him, you know. All right, lap uh, lap 29. Overtake Alonso's Ali. overtaken Sonoda. Now. now watch this. Round Here's the outside, up the inside of the stadium section. Good work. And he should hopefully get the uh, show. On the there. next straight. Oh, so I hope he gets Joe on the next straight. <coughs> yeah, he's looking very happy with himself for that one. And he's not got him. Oh, he's he's got Magnuson though. No, he hasn't. He has not looking at the wrong guy. Alonso overtakes Bottas. Okay, so there we have the LP. So this this is big. Alonso overtaking Bottas. He didn't get George Russell, but he got Bottas. So past. that's uh, a position gain. That team are very moment. happy with that one. I'd be uh, very happy with that one as well. So that moves him up to P8. Good, good. All right, that 32. Ocon's still P6. Russell's now overtaken Let's Alonso. Now, so somewhere Alonso's overtaken here. Russell, then George is going to come right back up the inside of turn one. This is going to be a good fight between these three for the rest of the race. I reckon if uh, Alonso can hold back um, our mate Bottas, it's going to uh, help us out in the long haul in the um, Constructors' Championship. I, I would hope it helps us out uh, we'll in the long haul. It could do, it could uh, not do. Ocon's still chilling in P6, but that's a, a lonely P6. That's a lonely, lonely P6. For Stefan and Sainz are having a great fight uh, up Let's the road as the Russell uh, Rio takes Alonso. George Russell. So Alonso's getting past, but then uh, that Mercedes is uh, mullering him on the straight. So I think we need to, uh, mind Goodness you, Alonso is carrying a worn engine. Moving ahead of the other driver. So that is something to bear in mind. Might have to take an engine penalty at some point. All right, lap 39 on board with uh, Frankie. Ocon's P7. He's got Russell behind him. But Russell's dragging Alonso and Bottas. Oh, go on. Frankie up the inside. Frankie around the outside of uh, George. Brilliant. Nice move there, Alonso. Good move. Now cruise up to the back of your teammate. And then we'll uh, we'll sell it down That's for a, a bit. Good yep, Alfie. Alonso overtakes George Russell. We saw that live. We might be about to uh, see some Elsa uh, live in a second. We'll put uh, Alonso in defend. See if uh, George gets any uh, closer. I tell you what, after our shocking qualifying, P6 and P7 would be very very inviting, Probably. especially with uh... oh hello. Everyone checked up then. What, uh, what went on then? Something went on. It might be just about to dick up uh, Alonso here. Ah, uh, there's Russell now. He's a bit too far back. Go go get him, Frankie. Go get him, boy. Uh, yeah, right, that 41. Leclerc. Oh, Leclerc's crashed. Oh, Leclerc has crashed here from the lead. Oh, not, not quite from the lead. But, uh, oh, that's a big one. That's got to be a retirement for the uh, Monogast driver who's not retiring but uh, stayed out. 
Okay, if uh, you say that right. Oh, God. It's clear Alonso is faster here, so uh, let him through. But hold the cars back behind you. Please. I said hold the cars back behind you. You let George Russell through, I'm going to smack you. Right, that's it. You're sacked. You are sacked. You, you, useless French. Oh, my God. I put you in fucking... Oh, my God. Jesus wept. Now, just watch the Mercedes here. Oh, Ocon frustrates me 99.9% .9 of the time, and then there's the 1% where he, uh... Position there. He absolutely has a blinder. So well, I say he has a blinder. And then he uh, he goes and does uh, stuff uh, stuff like that, doesn't he? All right, lap 52. Uh, Lonzo's got horrible graining on his tyres. It's fine, Frankie, it's fine. We'll, um, we'll uh, monitor the situation. Ocon, uh, where is Ocon? He's P6. Oh, it's Ocon in P6. He's got ahead of uh, Alonso, who's 11 seconds ahead of Russell here. What's gone on? Something's uh, gone on because the Alpines have uh, literally gone. Don't fight uh, Alonso. We need to get him in clean air. We need to get him in clean air and get him gone. So there you go. Alonso up. So don't fight your teammate. Work together. We got 10 seconds over George Russell. We can bring over P6 and P7 here. That's a good chunk uh, of points to uh, take away from this Grand Prix. A massive chunk of points. He's going to fight him into... Uh, no, he's not. Brilliant. Good boy. Good boys. Don't, uh, don't fight each other. That's not, uh, not what is needed. Keep it nice and clean. Keep it nice and cool. We're going to walk away with uh, some, a more haul of uh, big points uh, right here, I think. Speed up. All right, lap 57. Copy. Alon George Russell is uh, really closed in on uh, these two here. Uh, right. Don't fight your teammate, but hold the other cars back. We need uh, Alonso to go. I told you not to fight him. Oh, my God, he's going to fight him. He's going to fight. What are you doing? What are you doing, Ocon? You're supposed to be holding the cars back, not bloody... Yeah, let let uh, Alonso go. Jesus wet. I swear to God, if he messes this up, I'm going to be fuming. I, I am. I'm going to be absolutely fuming. He's going to let uh, George Russell pass, isn't he? Defend this. Defend this, Esteban. Defend this with your life. We can't see George. He's going to go around the outside. No, he's not good. Oh, but there's Alonso. We, we can get a good uh, shot here from uh, the rear wing of uh, Fernando Alonso down uh, the back straight here. Someone else has won. Who has won? Look, are you kidding me? Charles Leclerc, Leclerc has won this race. Charles Leclerc, is Charles Leclerc won there. this race after Look binning it in the wall. It's the and spin and win. When you drive with such skill and passion. What they the hell? <laughs> well done there, Charles. Well done. He said through gritted uh, teeth. Meanwhile, Russell's got ahead of Ocon. And is he going to get ahead of Alonso? Oh, that's not good. And I, oh, please. Um, I can see Bottas passing Ocon. Yeah, let's stay there. Thank you. P7 and P8. I'll take that today. It, I think we uh, we did all right there. Alonso, he's thinking about a move there, but he's not going to make it, so... P7, P8, we still got scored more points yeah. than the Alfa Romeo team. I'd say it was our day. I'd say good day. Our day, brilliant. Not more that... Uh,
needs okay, to be yeah, said nice for uh, for that one. Good job, guys. Absolutely. I would Good say job. so anyway. But I still can't believe Leclerc, man, spun it into the wall, was facing backwards, and still went on to win this race. Still. What is that man's AI made of? And where can we get a piece of it? I wonder if uh, he'd be interested in signing for our team. Leclerc. Could we take at all from the, the drivers, the, is, the how can current they drivers, the uh, championship no leader, one team. and Let's bring him to this team? To get them closer to exceeding expectations in the next race. And after this result, that the team would... is fourth in the constructor standings. Formula One will be back My to fan just did round. something very the stupid the then. With some heated competition it was running, and then all of a sudden it wasn't, and then it ran again. That's telling me that uh, it's on its way out. So uh, Leclerc spins and wins the uh, Miami Grand Prix. <laughs> yep, you, you heard that right, folks. Spin and win. Uh, ahead of Max Verstappen, Carlos Sainz, uh, P3, Lewis Hamilton, and Lonely Racing P4. Sergio George, and then uh, Fernando Ocon, Bottas, and Gasly are top 10. So we scored 10, they scored 2, so we're going to pull out even more of a gap on the Alfa Romeo team. Alonso takes P8 back in the championship. That's good going. We we like to see that. We like P8. P8 and 9. If we finish there this season and we get a P4 in the championship, I'll take that. Yeah, we've got a 13-point gap over Alfa Romeo. McLaren don't really seem to be making any strides forward. Hmm. I wonder if uh, Ricardo or Norris would be happy with that. Maybe they want to come to a, a winning team. I think we'll put Piastri in the car for the Spanish Grand Prix for uh, practice. Get him some, uh, some more experience. But uh, in the meantime, I think it's uh, about time we go and uh, wrap things up. Well, brilliant, uh, brilliant race, lads. And we got some uh, manufacturing parts in, so that's uh, brilliant. We, uh, we love manufacturing parts, that's uh, fantastic. Imported emails, suspension manufactured, brilliant. Uh, we're exceeding expectations according to the board. Uh, still want to sort out load speed cornering and the calling performance of Fernando Alonso. Yeah, what it doesn't say in that uh, email is that Charles McClare binned it into the wall and uh, won. It doesn't say that, does it there? Now. We're going to need to manufacture these. Now, can we rush them forward to get one in for the Spanish Grand Prix? It'd be brilliant if we could. Because that would be... That would just be awesome. That that would be. It would be awesome. Uh, other than that, I think that that is a perfect place to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all uh, did enjoy. Uh, we'll be back next Wednesday uh, for the Spanish Grand Prix. So until then, folks, stay safe, be kind to each other. If you can't be kind, quite have no place in the world. You can't be kind to other people. These two, we'll see you next Wednesday. We'll see you tomorrow for, is it NASCAR tomorrow? I think it's NASCAR tomorrow. Or it could be Trains in World, I'm not uh, entirely sure. 